one of my favorite books brings to life the time when uh, Johannes Gutenberg was alive and, and what he what he accomplished and what he did. This was a real true revolutionary time, sort of like we're living through now, with which started, of course, back about the year 2000 with the dot com bubble. So this is a, uh, the Gutenberg Bible, and it sorry. It's not a Gutenberg Bible. That's <laughs> otherwise, Gutenberg has been a big part of of Marx. Where Gutenberg would have probably used flight check because quality control was obviously a big issue even even back then. People don't realize who really Tesla is. I don't think still to be able to reproduce those and get them in the hands to democratize content to get into the hands of the average layman. The historical side, having a Bible that's from 1800s that uh, you can see how they printed and how they hand wove and bound it together just amazing and then another side is just like I, still to this day if i open it up and i look deep in the in, in the crease i can find like a hair i found like a sewing pin from you know who knows 18 something you know so my passion for 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 all this stuff for print is just that it's amazing to be able to pick up a book and read what someone wrote and they can spread that to thousands of people just with the with the press of a button nowadays in the internet, you know. So Flagcheck is our flagship product. This is a product that Patrick Marchese and Ronald Crandall got a U.S. patent on. It was an immediate hit because back then, you know, there, there was no PDF. We're redeveloping Flycheck, and if you'd like to beta test a new version, please send an email to sales at marksford.com. Without video, who knows where we would have been. Biteable.com did a, a survey, and 60% of business owners now use video. Video is an easy way to to get to digest information. The YouTube network is huge, and if you can get in there, it's just amazing. How to embed an Illustrator file in InDesign, or how to you know fix a PDF, or how to recover my corrupt InDesign file. YouTube in general has just been amazing to help people.